Hi, this is Dave and welcome to To The Table, a series of videos where I review and discuss various board and card games, looking at them from a family perspective. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the game Pox from TiltFactor.org. Now, this is a one to four player cooperative game in which you're working together to stop the spread of disease in a particular neighborhood. Now, to stop the spread of disease is through the use of vaccinations. And uh, you have to be careful because if the disease spreads too much, you're going to have people die. And you also have vulnerable people in the neighborhood who are more at risk because they can't be vaccinated. All right, let's take a look at this game, how it's played, and I'll come back and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, let's take a quick look at the components that come in the game Pox. And the first thing we have is a very uh, simple game mat. It's like a mouse pad, so you can roll it up and store it off to the side very easily. And the game also is going to come with a couple containers that have some chips in them. This first one here, we've got these red ones here that represent infection. And we have these black ones that represent death. And we have these blue ones here, which are the immunization chips. And then we also have 28 cards that come in the game, these pox cards. And they're going to have either spread or outbreak conditions on them. And they're going to dictate what happens on the game board itself. Now, looking at this game board here, uh, we have these white spaces here, which are normal, healthy people. And if we go in closer, you can see that they all have different appearances on them. And that's uh, going to distinguish who is going to be affected by certain cards in the game. We have this uh, red space here. There's two of them here. And these are going to be uh, the initial infected people in the game. And this is where the diseases are going to start spreading from initially. And we also have these yellow spaces here on the board. And these are going to be people that are, uh, they're vulnerable people and they are the most at risk of dying because uh, they are not able to be vaccinated. So if a disease spreads to them, they are going to immediately die. Now to play this game, uh, what we're going to do is uh, draw cards from this pox deck and we will resolve them on the game board. Now this game plays one to four people and it's a cooperative game. And I'm going to show you a one player uh, playthrough to show you how this game plays out. And it will go quickly because it's one, one player and I'm just going to show you the uh, actions and how things go as we go along here. So the first card here we have, we we'll draw and resolve, is the spread card here. And this says spread all infections to the top. And it says vaccinated people are protected. So what I'm going to do is I will spread the disease to the top here. Now, had there been a blue chip here in the pat, um, in the game, we would not be able to spread this because that person is protected. So for right now we've got these two spread here. And uh, what we have here at the bottom, it says vaccinate three uninfected people or cure and vaccinate one infected person. So we could choose to vaccinate three uninfected people and they don't have to be adjacent to already ones that are infected. They could be anywhere on the board. Or we can choose to cure and vaccinate one infected person, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to take this one here and I will vaccinate him or cure him and vaccinate him. So now I'll have a blue chip there. Next card here, we'll draw this one and this says spread all infections to the right. Vaccinated people are protected. So now we're going to spread all infections. So this one here, this one here, and this one here is going to spread. And now we can choose to vaccinate three uninfected people or cure and vaccinate one uh, infected person. And so this time I'm going to choose to vaccinate here and here and here. Okay, next card here. Spread all infections to the bottom and to the left. Vaccinated people are protected. So this one here, we wouldn't be able to spread this infection to go down because he's protected. But this one we can. Here, we'll go down and then to the left here and to the left here and down and to the left here. 
So, uh, a couple things here I want to point out. Number one, this initial character over here, this guy here, um, is now going to die because he is surrounded on four orthogonal points by infection, and so he is going to die. So what's going to happen is we will place one of these black chips over to signify that he has left this world. Uh, this one here, um, if we didn't have, um, have cured or vaccinated him, um, if we didn't have anything in place around him, this one here, he would have died as well because he would have been uh, surrounded by infection on all three sides. So now we lost our first one and we can uh, choose to uh, vaccinate three uninfected people or cure and vaccinate uh, one uninfected or one infected person. So I think we're going to vaccinate uh, three. So maybe we'll put one here and we'll put one here and we'll put one in the middle here. Let's see what happens here during this next card here. Uh, this is going to be spread all infections to the left. So now we're gonna look for anywhere where it can spread to the left. So this one can spread here. This one can spread here. And this one will spread here. And let's see what we can do. Now we can vaccinate three uninfected people or cure and vaccinate one infected person and so I think what we're going to do is we will cure this guy and vaccinate him here. Next card, everything's going to spread to the top. So now you can see we've got a lot of cards here where we're going to have uh, spreading one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So you can start seeing that this uh, disease is going to start spreading very rapidly and so we're going to have to do a few things to try and mitigate this and so we actually have the option here we can vaccinate three uninfected people or cure and vaccinate one infected person. Well right now we've got this one at risk right here but I can't vaccinate them. Um, this one here is at risk and so I'm going to choose to vaccinate him because if the infection spreads to the right he will die. So I have one there um, I'll put one here and one down the bottom here. So we're trying to contain this disease from spreading and if we do that we can win the game. So let's see what happens now on our next card. Now we have an outbreak and what's going to happen here it says infect a person who looks like this and that's what I talked about having all of these characters that look uh, unique on the board. And so it says this: the person you infect may touch only uninfected, unvaccinated people. If there are no such person on the board, do not place the outbreak. So let's look and see if we'll match this up and see who we have on the board that we can find that looks like that. And so we need to find a white body with a black head who's touching uh, only uninfected, unvaccinated people. So we'll put it right here. And uh, after I have placed this, I can vaccinate one uninfected person. So I will place one here. So um, had I not been able to uh, place this and have no outbreak, what I would have been able to do then is I would have been able to cure or um, vaccinate twice the number of people stated on the card. So I would have been able to have uh, vaccinated two people had the outbreak not occurred. All right, let's keep continuing doing this here. Uh, the next card is going to be spread down and to the right. So let's see what happens here. Um, we can't spread down here, can't spread down here, can't spread down here. Can't, we can spread down here. Can't, and we can spread down here. And we cannot spread down here. Now to the right, we can go here, here. Um, we just placed that one down and here. <coughs> so let's see and let's check to see if anybody else has died. And we have another one who has died right here. I might have missed that on my last turn before. So now we have two casualties on the board. Um, this one here, we're still okay. And now we can choose to vaccinate uh, and cure or vaccinate uh, three un or th we can vaccinate three uninfected people or we can cure and vaccinate one uninfected person and so 
Um, I think we're going to vaccinate three people here. So I'm going to go one, two, and three. So we're going to try and contain this over here so it can't go any further. And let's see what happens here. Spread to the right. So right now the only thing that we can do on this one is spread to the right. And we can choose to vaccinate three unvaccinated persons. So let's try and stop it from going up here and up here and up there. Next card here would be spread up and to the right. So what's gonna happen, we'll start up here. This one here was a vulnerable person spread up to the north, he's going to die. This one here is going, is at risk, he is going to die. Uh, this one's going to spread up here this one here is going to spread up and this one will die. And now, since five people have died in this game, we have lost the game. So this was not exactly a uh, favorable game for me, but uh, that's okay, it plays very quickly. But uh, essentially what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to contain the spread of these infections by vaccinating people. And if we can uh, have a turn where the infection cannot spread, due to vaccinations, we will win the game. But we will lose the game if we lose a certain number of players here. The basic game is five deaths, and you can adjust the difficulty all the way down to where uh, you have nobody die, so you can make this as hard as you want. Or um, we will also lose the game if all of these infection chips have been placed on the board. So those are the different conditions that are going to end the game. So. Um, again, this is just a, a very strategic, um, abstract game that you're playing here trying to uh, contain these diseases and stop them from spreading. And that is pox. All right, let's talk about pox here. And the reason that uh, I keep holding the instruction sheet is because the game comes shipped in a clear plastic shipping tube. At least that's how I got my copy. And so it takes up a very small... Uh, footprint on my game shelf, which is good because it leaves room for other stuff. Now, uh, if you are a fan of Pandemic, then Pox is a game that you would be interested in because it has two things in common with it. Number one, it's a cooperative game, and number two, you are working to stop the spread of infectious disease. Now, for me, I find this to be a solid area control game that's card driven. Uh, essentially, you're going to draw those cards, you're going to resolve them. And then you have a decision to make as to how you're going to get your vaccination chips on the board, whether you're going to choose to vaccinate multiple people or cure and vaccinate uh, one person. Now, one thing to note that I did not point out during the gameplay is that those initial infected people can also be cured and vaccinated. So if you do that, when you place a chip on them, they're going to look purple because there was an initial red space below them, but they are, uh, they are also uh, able to be uh, treated in this game. Now, uh, the game play, as you see, as the game goes on, you have more and more people at risk of becoming infected, so you're going to have to make very good decisions as to how you're going to control the area of where you have those vaccination chips. So you're going to have to really think about what you're going to do because uh, once the infection starts to spread, it gets to be really, really bad. And you saw in the gameplay that the infection spread to three vulnerable people in one turn and essentially ended the game. So you're going to have to uh, work hard at that. Now, playing with multiple players uh, you have more of a think tank that you can put together and um, and you know make those decisions to get those those chips on the board now uh, the game scales just fine because everyone is going to draw a card it's going to essentially be the same thing so whether you play with one player or up to four players the game essentially is going to play the same now I like this game and uh, this is a really cool one that you can play with the family because 
there's uh, really not a, a complicated rule set and the, the cards are very simple to understand. You just look at which way the arrow is and you have a couple of sentences on there in text to read. So uh, there's really not much to worry about. And one of the cool things in this game is that you are rewarded for, uh, for your work at vaccinating people in the neighborhood because if there is a card that uh, no new infections can come from, whether it's a spread card or, a, uh, or an outbreak card, you are rewarded with being able to vaccinate double the number of people. So that could be key uh, for something where the infection can't spread in one direction and you're, you could choose to vaccinate six people and essentially uh, almost win the game with that because the way that you win is that if the, if the disease can spread, it, it can't spread in any direction no matter what. So if you can completely surround the infection with vaccinated people, you will win the game. So that being able to have that double vaccination option is really cool and it's a nice reward that's built into the game. Now, looking at this game from a family perspective, this is really, um, this is really good because uh, this gives you uh, an opportunity to work together in a cooperative game, but it also uh, brings to light a, a social topic that uh, sometimes we take for granted, and that is uh, the idea of vaccination because uh, myself, uh, when I grew up, um, I just went to the doctor and I had gotten my vaccination shots for uh, various things like when I was a baby and then later on I got my boosters and that was uh, that was just kind of the way that it was now I understand that there are um, you know there's a, a different way of thinking where people are kind of against vaccinations and there there may be some uh, some things that uh, some side effects that may occur from vaccinations but um, this game and this organization, uh, TiltFactor.org, they are working to have games made for social change. And so this game makes a very strong message in favor of vaccination. So they have, uh, this is what they have done. And I think that they have done a very good job with it. And so this game, you know, again, from a family perspective, this gives it uh, a great way to see, see a practical um, argument for vaccinations and it can also foster some good uh, discussions at home around the game table while working together playing a fun game. Now uh, another thing that I see with this particular game is that it can be used in uh, school settings whether it's uh, junior high or even in high school in health classes this would be a great activity that can be uh, can be done when the uh, unit on vaccinations and uh, disease control comes up. This is a, a really cool activity to see. Uh, number one, how disease spreads, and then number two, how vaccinations can contain that and prevent the spread of disease. Now, I find this to be a uh, you know an enjoyable game, and uh, the TiltFactor.org has done a good job in uh, promoting their overall message of their of their organization of making games for social change. I think that this game does do a great job of, of fulfilling that argument in favor of vaccinations. And so uh, I'd like to see, uh, you know, hopefully more people will uh, be uh, partaking in, in this particular game because it's, uh, it's really cool with a really strong message and you can share with others. All right, so if you are interested in getting a copy of Pox, I will have the information in the video description below. All right, that's it for now, and join me again next time as we take a look at another game and we see how it makes it to the table.